As you can see behind us, crews with SMUD are currently working to put some power poles that were burned up and fell down and get those back online so uh, folks in this area that are being impacted by those power outages can have power again. Chris, I'll tell you what, we spoke with neighbors who say they spelled smoke earlier today and moments later they saw what was essentially a wall of flames that turned this fire deadly. But neighbors say many more could have been hurt or even killed if a good Samaritan hadn't stepped in. It was humongous. I'd never seen anything that fast. 40 to 50 foot flames just came over the top of the back of the fence. As flames broke out near Valerie Jones Castro's home. If it wasn't for her, I'd be literally burnt up. Her 56 year old neighbor, Jill Theory, raced door to door to warn and help her neighbors flee. She's a hero of my book. I mean, definitely. Theory describes lifting an elderly neighbor to safety. She got on my back. I just carried her down the stairs on my back and out. Some gentlemen over here broke that fence down to help me get her out. Firefighters described a wall of flames when arriving around 2 p.m. Friday. Flames moved so fast it took 80 firefighters to bring it down. We contained the fire and at this point we're just going inside and now without the lateral spread we're just trying to clean up the inside. Fire officials say at least one person and many pets died. Others remain missing and two people were brought to the hospital with burns. This is what's left in the aftermath. The blaze destroyed 18 mobile and several other homes, displacing 30 people. Well, I'm not, I'm not happy about it, but you know what? We're all breathing. Now back out here live, the American Red Cross is working tonight to get those survivors into a safe place to stay. Meanwhile, utility crews are on scene in the area working to restore gas and power.